нашей школы обучилось 15 тысяч детей. Наша школа уникальная. Наша школа уникальна. В ней звучит и русская, и английская речь. Наши ученики читают произведения Пушкина, Шекспира. Нам удается сохранить родной язык семьи и одновременно глубоко и детально изучить язык страны, в которой мы живем. Наступила приятная и в то же время грустная пора расставания с детством. Вот еще одно поколение наших выпускников покидает родные стены, чтобы выйти в трудную и прекрасную взрослую жизнь. Приятно, что наши дети выросли, повзрослели, получили самые первые и очень нужные в последующей жизни знания и навыки. Ваши успехи – это наша гордость, авторитет и престиж нашей школы. А ваши трудности – это наша забота. В этом году опять мы переступили рубеж отличия, оставив далеко позади себя городские школы. Наши выпускники восьмых классов поступили в самые престижные хай-скул с города Нью-Йорка. Нашим выпускникам были предложены самые престижные учебные программы. Law, Communication Art, Biomedical Programs и другие. Дорогие ребята, в нашей школе вы выросли, физически окрепли. Вы научились самому главному в жизни – умению учиться, трудиться и дружить. И сегодня мне хочется вспомнить то, что нас объединяло все эти годы. Вспомнить тех, кто вел вас вперед за руку, помогая в трудную минуту, делая с вами, деля с вами радости и огорчения. Я хочу с гордостью отметить, что наши учителя и воспитатели являются профессионалами своего дела, которые привели наших выпускников и привели им умение учиться, желание учиться, умение самостоятельно принимать решения, я думаю, что всю свою жизнь наши выпускники с теплотой в сердце будут вспоминать своих учителей, воспитателей, уроки, прогулки. Я выражаю сердечную благодарность учителям и всем сотрудникам школы за ту титаническую работу, которую они проделали за все эти годы. Я считаю, что наши учителя заслужили ваши аплодисменты. Уважаемые родители! Я хочу также поблагодарить вас всех. Ваша постоянная забота, интерес к школьным делам, успехам ваших детей, радость и огорчение, выполнение домашних заданий вместе с детьми, а чаще всего из-за детей, помогла нам привести ваших детей к вершинам знаний. Не останавливайтесь ни на одно мгновение на достигнутом. И тогда блестящее будущее ваших детей не за горами. Дорогие выпускники! Я вспоминаю то время, когда многие из вас пришли к нам в детский сад, а сегодня вы уже выпускники. Кажется, что это было только вчера. После стольких лет обучения вы достигли первой остановки на пути к успеху. Я хочу поблагодарить вас за те успехи, которые вы достигли и можете использовать знания, полученные в нашей школе. Сегодня на пороге жизни стоите вы, выпускники 2015 года. Мы желаем вам умножать знания, хранить тепло наших сердец, беречь дружбу, помнить все то, чему научились вы в нашей школе. Прощаясь с вами, мы не говорим вам до свидания. Вы всегда будете желанными гостями в нашей школе, и мы рады будем встрече с вами. Мы всегда придем к вам на помощь, если только вы этого пожелаете. Пусть вам сопутствует удача во всех добрых начинаниях. Крепкого вам здоровья, счастья. В добрый путь, дорогие выпускники. Good luck, best wishes, and God bless you. Я хочу предоставить слово ассистент принципал школы Наталье Янковской. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, dear parents, graduates, my esteemed colleagues, Mr. Gordney, congratulations to all of you. Each year in September, we welcome new students at the school doors. And on graduation day in June, we honor our beloved graduates who are ready to depart into a big world. And even though all of us got accustomed to this chains of welcomes and farewells, 
These events bring an enormous inflow of emotions and excitement. Each graduation has its own tone and spirit because no student's cohort is the same. However, for me, today's day is truly special because I was honored to be social studies teacher in all classes graduating today. And as your former social studies teacher, I would like to recap some very important topics that we have covered in class. to remain silent in case he is not prepared to answer teacher's questions. In my subject, we call it pleading the fifth. Number two, Miranda writes, every student must know that whatever a strict teacher says can and will be turned against this teacher, at least at the PTA conference. And number three, guys, Mexican-American War. The students who just returned from their vacations in Mexico can fight with their history teacher over the right not to take their tests. If they still have to take this test, those exams must be administered in Spanish. Okay, equipped with these historical fundamentals, I assure you, you will be treasured at any school as an extremely savvy student. And finally, I would like to remind you that the United States Declaration of Independence guarantees you only the pursuit of happiness, but not the happiness itself. Your happiness, my dear graduates, rests in your hands. They are to pursue, and you will attain it. Congratulations to all of you, and best of luck. Я хочу предоставить слово руководителю кафедры математики Виолетта Дубинина. Dear parents, teachers, friends, and family. Thank you for being here today to support and cheer of our graduating class. It is my pleasure and honor to speak to them. Dear graduates, I'm happy to give you this message as you conclude this stage of your life and continue onward to many exciting adventures. You have done incredibly well over these last few years. You have grown both academically and personally. It's been a pleasure and an honor to watch you succeed and become better, and it is my most important and biggest hope that it doesn't stop here. Continue working hard, continue growing, and continue succeeding. Remember to be honest with everyone, especially with yourself, and be kind to everyone who crosses your path. Whatever road you choose, whatever career you take on, I have full confidence that you will do well. I hope that many years from now, you will look back on years of achievement and feel immense happiness, and many other people will celebrate you like we are celebrating you today. Best of luck, go forth and succeed. Head of the English uh, Language Department, Diana Kuzminer. family. Uh, as an English teacher, most of you know this, I'm sort of obligated to quote something at you. It's going to be one single line of poetry, one single line, I promise, by John Milton, Sonnet 19. The first line says, when I consider how my light is spent. The thing is that for Milton, light was a difficult thing because he had turned blind halfway through his life. And as you can very well imagine, losing the sense of sight for a writer would probably be equal to a composer losing his sense of hearing. What he meant when he talked about light 
was his life, his productivity, the ability to do everything that he wanted to accomplish within his life. And so for you, I wish you light, something that will guide you throughout your entire lives, something that will help you and lead you to success, to the fulfillment of all of your ambitions, to love, to family, to honor, to greatness. All the best to you. Congratulations. Ваш любимый учитель в Social Studies Алекс Брагин. Good evening. A story tells that two friends were walking through the desert. During some point of the journey, they had an argument and one friend slapped the other in the face. The one who got slapped was hurt, but without saying a word, wrote in the sand, today my best friend slapped me in the face. They kept walking until they found an oasis where they decided to take a bath. The one who had been slapped got stuck in the mire and started drowning, but the friends saved him. After friend recovered from near drowning, he wrote on a stone, today my best friend saved my life. The friend who had slept and saved asked him, after I hurt you, you wrote it in the sand. When I saved you, you carved it in the stone. Why? The answer was, when someone hurts us, we should write it down in the sand where winds of forgiveness can erase it away. When somebody does something good for us, we must engrave it in stone that no wind will ever erase it. So, <laughs> learn to write your hearts in the sand and carved all the good deeds in the stone. The message is you have to be thankful and grateful to all the people, to your parents, teachers, coaches, mentors, neighbors, bus drivers, uh, waiters, any people who you meet in the life who do something good for you. And with this note of thankfulness, I am putting on my another hat because I'm wearing two hats today. Not only am I a teacher of graduating class, but also a parent of a graduating student. And um, I have to address my fellow teachers, dear fellow teachers, the nine years, for nine years, our kids have been under your maternal and paternal care. They have been pampered, helmeted, bubble wrapped, kissed, fed, wiped, trained, taught, tutored, couched, listened to, counseled, encouraged, consoled, and pacified. So on behalf of my fellow parents, especially probably fellow dads, because we just had the uh, Father's Day, not Mother's Day, I thank you most sincerely for teaching our children all the necessary skills and competences that gave them a chance to hurdle successfully this challenging level of education, especially during this confusing period of teenage adventurism. And to the graduating class, you heard probably many times the expression success in life. Here, success in life. There, this person is successful. If I ask you what does it mean, you, since you are equipped with the knowledge of social Darwinism, you can answer me, that's easy survival of the fittest, the smartest one at the top of the society and you will